Hey guys, it's Muppet Edits here, and I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial as part of Tutorial Tuesday. And for this one, I've had a request on how to make a 2D image, a 3D image in Cinema 4D. Now I know a lot of people use these for clan logos. I just went for something quick and simple for as um, a Twitter logo. Uh, it's really easy to do if you have Cinema 4D and Photoshop. So I'm going to quickly get into it. First of all, you're going to need to have your 2D image, like I have here, and my one's the Twitter logo. You want to drag and drop this into the document you're working in. And now there, there is a shortcut to this, but this method doesn't come out as good. What you need to do for the shortcut method is press W with your keyboard and select your item. Then you want to right click and make work path, select your tolerance. And as you can see, the work path's a lot jittery. It's not really that smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that work path. And so basically what, what you want to do is when you've got a shape, you want to click P on your keyboard. And this should bring up your pen tool. If not, it's located on the far left. You just want to click and you click to the other location and then drag and you just shape it around the image or get as close to as possible and when you've done that you'll notice you've got this long stem and what you need to do is hold alt on your keyboard and click where the little path ends and then you can just continue working on from there so I'll show you again curve you'll have a little bend alt click sorry about that curve alt click you just want to do this around the whole shape and I'll be back when I've done that okay I'm back and as you can see I've just done my work path and it looks a lot more smoother than the one that you saw before when you've got your work path all you're going to need to do is click file go down to export and click pass to illustrator and click pass work path click OK choose a place to save it and for me I'm just going to have Twitter I'll save that right now when you've done that you want to head over to Cinema 4D uh, you don't have to start off with a Lightroom but I've got one set up for myself uh, you're going to click file open you're then going to want to find the file that you just made so my Twitter one, OK. And I'll ask you the scale, you just click one centimeters connected splines, click OK. And you won't be able to see it all the time, so what you need to do is just drag it into where you're working, like that. Scale it to whatever size you want. And then from here, you want to go over to this tool here, which looks like a, a green square. In, um, in a frame, you want to click and hold and you move your mouse over to extrude nerves you then need to drag the twitter spline and drop it into extrude nerves and when you've done that you should see it turns 3D and the settings I'm going to use for extrude nerves are you click object I'm just going to drag the movement up a bit and this uh, this changes how far it goes back and then caps you're going to need to add a fillet cap like this and as you can see what it does is it sort of embosses it like it does in Photoshop now you're just going to decrease that a lot but if you increase the steps it makes it more round like that it's more curve Duh. and that's basically it now I'm just going to quickly rotate mine Right, there's that done. So I'm just going to quickly render this out and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so my file has rendered. I've saved it on my desktop as a PNG. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this layer that I originally started working on. Click delete. And then I'm just going to open the 3D image. Uh, there it is. Click open. 
and then press V and you want to click and you just want to drag and drop it into your workspace like this I'm just going to quickly center mine up and then what you can do from here is you can add color corrections, overlays loads of different uh, layer styles like you normally would for things drop shadows etc I'm just going to quickly add a simple one and then if you want to change your color press control U, it, this is if you don't use a color correction you can use this I want to click colorize and you just change the hue to a color you want, I'm going to go for a a nice twitter blue so about there and then you boost up the saturation to increase the color so like that and then that is it and from here you can you can make this image your clan logo you can make it anything you want uh, you can import it into intros and things like that so if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like a comment explaining what you would want for another tutorial uh, a favorite so this can get out to more people and yeah thank you for watching this video and this is Muppet Edits signing out peace Love is here.